welcome everyone uh, it's a great joy to connect with you once again we'll continue to talk about healing and today i want to dwell on uh, the subject of covenant when we study covenants in the bible we see that they are solemn promises you know it's a binding oath it's an agreement between two parties and a covenant is so much greater than um, uh, you know uh, our understanding of what a promise is these days now in bible times we we see that covenants were made through blood as leviticus 17:11 um uh, reveals to us and god gave a name of himself which is a covenant name or he promised to offer himself to us through a covenant name known as jehova rafa and uh, when he spoke of himself as jehova rafa what god was actually saying was that i make a solemn promise i make a binding oath i have an agreement with you that i am the one who heals you i am the god who heals you i am the god who heals your body and the god who heals your soul i am the god who brings healing and shalom to every part of your being so through the covenant what god has actually done is that he has offered all of himself to us so as believers when we look at a covenant that god has uh, given us we know that we can receive of him through that covenant uh, and uh, so as we consider him as our healer we we can go to god in faith and receive uh, healing for every part uh, of our being so god made a covenant god made a covenant of healing with us god made a covenant of healing with abraham now many years later when the lord jesus was walking the earth and um, serving uh, in in the ministry which was given to him we find that he looked at a certain woman in luke chapter 13 and uh, he called her the daughter of abraham so in luke chapter 13 verses 10 through 17 uh, we see uh, a woman who was bound by a spirit of infirmity um, she was bound up she was uh, bent over uh, and for 18 long years she suffered uh, by the affliction of of these uh, you know demon spirits uh, but when the lord jesus met her one of the things that he he uh, called her is the daughter of abraham and in verse 16 he he made a statement um, so ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham whom satan has bound uh, think of it for 18 years be loosed from this bond on the sabbath so what jesus was saying is jesus was saying the covenant is still valid and on the basis of the covenant this uh, jewish woman who was part of the abrahamic covenant uh, she should sh- satan had no right to put sickness on her body and jesus was coming against that and so uh, today for us uh, friends as we uh, know the lord jesus has already come he has become our redemption for us and as we study the book of hebrews we have a better covenant through him no a better one uh, even as compared to the abrahamic covenant we have a better covenant we have better promises uh, and so uh, when satan wants to put sickness and disease on our lives we can resist it and we can say we have a covenant with god god has spoken and said he is jehova rafa my healer and so you know we uh, we choose to walk in health we declare that we are whole and well and even as we continue to press in uh, i i believe that we will begin to experience the manifestation of healing just hold on pursue trust in the lord and keep going let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for your love lord we thank you for your goodness lord that you've made yourself available in wholeness to us father and lord even as you have released your healing to us i pray in jesus name that lord bodies will be touched minds will be touched emotions will be touched to oh god and lord let wholeness and health uh, be uh, each one's portion in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.